Objection! Well, hello. We're back again, suddenly, with no child around. It's because it's been a week. Yes. Why, thank you for finally giving me the controller. You're welcome. Yep, I'm wrapped up in a weighted blanket because it's very cold. It got very cold this week. It's, it's very nice. It's been shorts weather. It's fucking freezing. You could die in a hole. <laughs> you can go down to Lake Cockatiz where you belong. Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. I still suspect the shit out of him. The Chief of Police? The evil Chief of Police. He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. The case where the Android 16 killed somebody? Oh. AI 16? Oh. He told me he wanted to keep it here at the prosecutor's office. So he could stab the detective guy with it. But it was solved, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. Well, he should be. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. Was it screwy? Sandbags to play. <laughs> it really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. I'd better make a note of it. Updated evidence. Some random ass screwdriver from a past case of Edgeworth. It's brought back to his office by Gant's request. And since it's not Chief Gant, I'm assuming it's the bad guy from Twilight Princess. You mean Zant? With a Z? Stubborn as always. I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. We don't have to, we don't have to, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, Gantz. I was thinking of that weird manga and I'll tell you about it later. Right, please. I'm the prosecutor on the, oh, this is his, like, I don't have anything for you dialogue. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case of the over cup of tea. We've already done this. I'll pass on the tea. Just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright, Mr. Edgeworth just told you no in a very polite manner. Whose side are you on anyway? She's not Harley Maybe Quinn. Maybe if I just show him my best evidence, I can get some reaction out of him. Um. Okay. No, go back, go back to Edgeworth. He still, he still has stuff that you need. Hey, Edward, this is your knife, right? Hey, Edward, this is your dead dad, right? Hey, Edward, do you remember the elevator? Hey, Edward. Fucking... We killed your mentor. He was like a father figure to you. Have you been going to fucking the psych? Have you he been seeing you, the psychiatrist? He with that. What the fuck are you doing? We got your we got your father figure dead after he murdered your literal father and then raised you like his, his own son alongside his daughter, who's apparently really young, even though he was old as fuck. And I hear she comes back as a bad guy lawyer soon, and they just bump her age up by like 10 years or some bullshit. It's crazy. And she has white hair, and she's kind of hot. What? She's got Dom vibes. What the f what the fuck are you talking about? I'm covering for you, Brennan. Why oh, you investigate what I... whatever you're investigating over there. Yeah. Dom vibes. Get... Oh. Present... I should examine the screwdriver. Uh, you can. Present some of the, SL, the, the SL9 incident uh, stuff to him. What SL9 stuff? Oh, there we go. And, oh God. The and tag says AI-16. What's that got to do with anything? Well, it's obviously for Android 16. Nothing, apparently. At least that's what Edgeworth said. Hmm, that makes it seem all the more suspicious. Exactly. Who knows? Day. This might turn out to be the clue that breaks the case. That'd be so sick. I mean, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I mean, that's basically what you said. Yeah. I don't remember what we've shown him already. 
I don't remember either. Just give it just any of the like the glove, the vase, anything. And I Oh no. Oh fuck me, what was it? And it, it's really not helping that I like don't I don't remember what we were at last time because we had such a sudden and unexpected end. I'm sorry that I wanted my son involved in this. I'm sorry I ever even had a child, Brennan. God. Yeah. Oh, right! I'd better check this now. As I was saying, I... Oh, wait, is this the... Ooh! What's this? Nick. A record of ID card usage! Nick, this is literally the thing that we just... Like, when we came in, it. this is what we fucking... Did already? Yeah. Oh. I still got an Edward to say ooh. It, it was his note. Oh. I'm remembering now the, the, the note that just says SL9. That was why I was like, just do SL9 stuff. Because it was the one specific SL9 that I... I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on. The SL9 incident. Can't the seal the seal nine and and some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. I, you are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. The DL six incident. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. He must be talking about his father's murder in that elevator. The DL six incident, where he shot the sheriff. But he did not shoot the jet, the deputy. I was gonna make a diff slightly different joke. I was gonna make it, yeah, because because he wasn't the just sheriff. Press the button. Okay, Edgy. Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Thanks for sandbagging the bit. I'll always sandbag all your bits when they're garbage. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time, Damon Grant. You want to try that again? Nope. <laughs> His first name is Demon. Or what? What are we? What are we doing here? He's obviously a bad guy. That wacky old coot was involved in the case <laughs> two years ago too. Then <laughs> he's like sixty or some shit. <clears throat> so so he is just like disarmingly goofy. Yeah, he's weird. He's he's talking about how he give you fifty bucks and shit, and he's and asking if you swim much. He's a fucking weirdo goofball. But he's also the bad guy. Right. Oh look, you grunted and looked away. Your your famous tell at poker. <laughs> we I don't even know how to play poker. Yeah, he was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Especially because you gave off such daddy vibes. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? <clears throat> what I want to know is why was a deputy chief of police on the investigation? In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I had let him go, the blood would be on my hands. So I lied about evidence. We won our guilty verdict and the killer was executed. Wait, Oops. you didn't... Yes, uh, just so you all know, we're in a lounge now. Uh, there's a man quietly lounge singing, and we've just got boxes taped to our faces to the mics. I don't know where I was going with the bit. We just ignore what it. What the fresh Just, just fuck? fucking do the... Just read your line. What in the fresh fuck are you... Ice clinking. About? It sounds like a lounge. You know, you expect, like, a croony dude even to be pick in pick up the on the mic. It definitely... <clears throat> of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Dude, these mics are, like, way less sensitive than our last one. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. If I think they're guilty, I get them executed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. Do you want a job working for us? But my sister, what? Oh yeah, I forgot. She's the chief prosecutor. If you were still studying forensic science. Huh? Y yes, of course. Why, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this. Luminol testing fluid, hmm? Well then, you might have use for this. Yay! Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints! <clears throat> it's been chemically treated for better adhesion. 
F for me? Are you, are you sir? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm, I'm really... No need to thank me. No, I'm really sad. I just had a rough day and I was wondering if... No need to thank me. Can you give me a hug? What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> Here, take the take your powder and those these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I just I just wanted to hug Edgy. Thanks, thanks though. How about giving these Detective Gumshoe as well? He could use them. Wait, are you telling me that Detective Gumshoe lacks like investigative tools? Fuck! He gave me a fucking fishing pole. Of course, he lacks investigative tools. Oh my god! It's hey, all so pal, clear hey, now. Pal, I don't got no de fancy degree like you lawyers. I can't. I don't know how to use that. This sounds just like. Oh man. Oh shit! I can get in legal trouble if I keep that going. We're just gonna <laughs> fingerprinting set recover fingerprints from handprints. For what do you mean you can get in legal print. trouble? What the fuck? Where was the destination of that bit? What the shit? Talking about an issue with a uh, local... Oh. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember... See oh, just look at how good she is. <laughs> He's Every cute. time. You do remember seeing his suspicious handprint someone. She's just so happy! Yep. God, she's like Isabel, except as a person. Isabel's my dog. Well, my little, my son's dog. He's not, she's not my dog. Come on. <laughs> you don't remember where the finger handprints were. I do, they're in the garage. That's not right. Whatever. Nope, no, the, no, there was the handprint on the, on the, at the place. So when you, uh, when you're playing Apollo Justice, in, when we get to it in like three years and you haven't remembered any of this, <clears throat> like you show up to Emma and you're like Apollo's like hey I need I need to investigate and Emma's like I do not give a flying fuck I need to fill this hole in my heart with snack ooze. February and, 23rd evidence room and you go to you go to Phoenix to be like hey the the investigator won't help me and he goes oh it's Emma right just give her this fucking fingerprint stuff she'll lose her shit and then you and then you give her the fingerprint stuff who the, the fuck is knocking my doorbell? Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. A handprint that was suspiciously suspicious. We're gonna move recording back to my place because there's so many less distractions. What do you mean, Brennan? Why did you skip the thing? I didn't skip anything. Yes, you did. She said something. It's it opened that up by itself too just now. She said, "Let's. No, we need you're... to investigate the handprint. No. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed." Right. Let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger. Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's use the finger that will have the le have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance, except I totally can. It's the fucking thumb. Quit procrastinating and choose the finger. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. You have to promise me that you're not going to go crazy with this. Not like you did with the Luminol. Because we will be here for the next 17 hours if you do. I make no promises. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? With the A button, see? Ah, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. With what? <clears throat> is there a mic in the switch? Controller? Press the button. Huh? How do I do that? You blow into the Nintendo DS console. I mean with the X button. Exciting, I know. With your actual breath. Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. This and then press be, the X button. This used to be DS. And no, the, I know. And there there was, was the mic. Fossil Fighters See? had the same thing, kind of. 
lots of things did. It was the it was the DS. Yeah. Wow, that, I used to yell at it to make the dust go away. Go away, dust, go away! And it was like, <laughs> made me feel very strong. Wow, that looks like fun. It might take some getting used to, though. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. Be you just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Right. I guess I'd better give it a try. Oh. Oh. That's why I said that you need to not go crazy. Because it's fucking blow, so you get a sense of where the fingerprint is. Now you have to fill it in enough that the game will be like, yeah, you got it. I'm sorry, viewers. I've tried to save you. <laughs> I've tried. I'm but the hit, fucking filling the, it in. There is man. only there is only so much I can do without physically yanking the controller out of this man's hands. Aha! You did it! You found one! I did it fucking... I didn't even go crazy. But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? It th I think it means we're out of luck. Oh, they were using a glove. An oily... I swear to God, if it's the goddamn... It's fine. Just wait until they bring the fucking bell. Out of luck! The person who left this fingerprint must have worn gloves. Hmm. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just <clears> the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem the same. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Looking at the locker door again closely. Oh, there's one down to the left of it. It seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm. Fingerprints outside the blood. So did you like tap or did you just drag it across the screen on the You desk? had to tap. Oh, that must have been fucking fun. Yeah. Blow so you get a sense of where it is. Just It's usually fucking, fucking sick. Center. Oh, that's cool. It's usually like right in the fucking center. 